Hi, this is Tom from World Class Coaching with another in our series of animated drills. This is a drill I first saw uh, from the Rangers FC Academy coach, and I really like the pattern. I, I still use it today. I saw it many years ago, uh, and it was part of our member drills database section in the World Class Coaching Training Center, and it, it was in one of our magazine articles that are a part of that. And it's, it's something that's so versatile. You can use it for so many different things in so many different ways uh, that I continue to use it. For, for many reasons. So the way it's set up is you have two goals and I put these as far apart from the middle as they would be from the top of the penalty area for the given age group. So if they were, these were U17 boys, then this would be 18 yards away and this would be another 18 yards away. If these were U11 uh, boys, then maybe this is only 14 yards away depending on the size of the penalty area that we use. If we're talking U9s and 10s, then it's less. So it's always relative to that because then that's more functional for the game. If I have the opportunity to train on a field with lines, then I'm going to use the top of the box for one of these. Uh, for this line here, I'm going to use the top of the box. So then we have the goal here, and then we have another goal placed out here just to create that same atmosphere that the players see in the game, that same situation. Very simple setup. Players lined up on one side of the goal, on this side, so the right side of the goal facing away from the goal. Here, same, right side of the goal facing away from the goal. And, and simple in terms of setup, dribble toward the halfway line, and before reaching that halfway line, we want the players to take a shot or around that halfway line, taking a shot. Now, to begin with, I always do this just as a very simple dribble, push the ball out of your feet, and shoot. As we go along, then we start to add, okay, let's have, let's have a fake and then a shot. One of my favorite things to do with this is to use uh, a flag. Usually I only have a flag. If I had mannequins, I would definitely use mannequins. But flags are very useful for this because we can put a flag here and that will at least give the uh, dribbling player the illusion of or the, the idea of having a defender in front of them. So they have something to look at in front of them. They have you know, something that is you know, not just on the ground, but presents an obstacle to them. So that if they don't use you know, that touch away from pressure, if they don't take that, that touch at a good angle, then they're going to be penalized you know, by that presence of the flag in front of them. So taking that touch to the side before then taking the shot and obviously the idea is, is here we want to shooting far post. If we want to, we can put a goalkeeper in as well. Uh, we can put a goalie in. Let's see. We'll choose that goalie. Uh, we'll put a goalkeeper in here. We'll flip him around so he dives the other way. And so if you choose to, you could definitely put a goalkeeper in just to provide that player with you know, some opposition. You could also just do this unopposed. So you're just focusing on the technique of driving at the defender, touching away from the feet, and then shooting back across to the far post. Now, you can make this more complicated, obviously, by asking the players to perform a fake at that cone, so now, or that flag. So that, now they need to worry about the timing of that move in order to play away at a good angle and then take the shot. Another opportunity you have here is you can have the players, let's just have a player here, we'll copy this player. You can have a player start out on that flag. And here we'll do the same thing. So when a player starts on that flag without a ball, now they're turning with their back to pressure. So now what we have is we have the player receiving a pass from a teammate. We'll just play that ball in here. Make it a dotted line for the pass. And they're receiving that ball. They're turning. We'll grab the line instead. They're turning around this flag doesn't want to move, does it? <laughs> They're turning around this flag and then having a shot. There's so many things you can do here as well. You could have this ball then be laid off instead of turning. So the player that receives it could lay it off to the player who's followed their run. And then that player takes a touch and has a shot. So now we're talking about a layoff, then a quick touch out of the feet and a dribble and take the shot. You can do that. You could have the ball laid off to the outside, and then instead of dribbling in, you know, that player passes the ball in behind. We'll leave the goalkeeper where he is. Then, <laughs> and then we'll have this ball played in behind, and this player could turn 
and then have a shot. So there's so many different combinations you can play off of this very simple setup. But the whole idea of getting a lot of repetition where they dribble and shoot and then join the other line and dribble and shoot and join the other line. And so you can just get a ton of repetition and then you can focus on whatever aspect of the game you choose. So give this a try with your team. I think you'll find that you get a lot of opportunities to shoot and a lot of different things to coach.